real life that we made this conscious decision that the all the doctors that were internal medicine like JD and Elliot are in blues always in blues um, all the surgeons are always in greens so that's Turk um, and that just created this nice sort of conflict between the two types of doctors JD I just like for him to look really comfortable in his clothes. This pair is delicious. We wash all of his stuff down so that it looks worn in. I search relentlessly for t-shirts that look like he's had them forever. What a whore! We had a rash of episodes of Sarah taking her top off. I'm Elliot Reed. Tramp. I think that people were keeping count of the different colors of bras that she had on. I had to take my top off a lot in the first two years. There is no sexual tension, okay? That's right, work it, baby. Now you're smoking. Just go ahead and look before your next snap. Awesome. The bras are very special. We never repeat colors. It's too much. I'm just one person. I think Sarah actually did an interview once, and the interviewer knew all the colors that she had had. I don't feel weird. I feel weird. And asked her what was going to be next. <laughs> That's pretty creepy. <laughs> I'll just go get dressed. And then uh, we can go to work. Any costume that we get to put Donald Faze on in is a delight. Anything that's out of the ordinary, he is such a joyous little kid. He loves to put outfits on, like when we did the Batman and Robin. Um, he put that thing on and went running down the hall, and it, this is during our fitting. I'm usually chasing him with pins as he's gleefully jumping around in his outfits. You should go and get lunch like that. You know what I should really do? Go to an Irish pub like this and see how long it takes for somebody to kick my ass. <laughs> and when you're wearing scrubs, it's kind of nondescript. So in the pilot episode of the show, Bill gave me cut off sleeves as if I'm a guy who wants to show off its guns. And that's a blessing and a curse because I've had to go to the gym so much over the last four years just to maintain the appearance that I have some guns. Oops. The rip away costumes are always so amazing. This is Celeste from Wardrobe, and they designed a special shirt for me to wear in the scene. So he can get naked quickly. It's, what do we call it? A tearaway. It's a tearaway, and I'm going to be tearing away the shirt in the scene. And we're so, so how's it work then? We're gonna, let's, I'm going to rehearse one right now. So. Thinking up, out. Oh, can't take it, I'm going. Hi. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's Just so the reveal. <laughs> um, I remember one time I got a call at 9 o'clock at night from our ADs saying that we needed 20 identical rerun costumes. Rerun is somebody that he always fantasizes about being taught the rerun dance. Come on, ladies! It's right hand, left hand, shoulder pop, jump! And he's got the red beret and the suspenders and everything, and we need it by first thing in the morning. The first shot is at probably 7.30 in the morning, and it's 9 o'clock at night. All right, guys, let's make it happen! We do it, somehow. I don't know, we did it, and we dressed up the PAs, the director, and anybody who was standing around. Thank God for costume warehouses. Only in Los Angeles can you find 20 identical costumes at 6 o'clock in the morning. Carla, a quick word. Stunts on this show, we decided to think grandly. Out the window! Throw her out the window! One of the coolest things that we realized early on, we started, uh, you know, wanting to do physical comedy, but doing it in the multi-camera sense, trying to make it small, people hitting their heads, people falling. And with uh, Ernie and Noon, you know, our stunt coordinators around, quickly realized that we could think bigger. And as long as these guys knew we were on a, you know, uh, independent movie type budget and hauling, hauling ass, that we could say we want John McGinley to be shot into the air like Superman. We want a, a couple that's tethered together to bungee off of a bridge. You know, Ken Jenkins walking down the hallway, headbutting and kicking people. People coughing fire up onto Zach. Things we've accomplished on this show with limited time has been amazing. I'm sure it's the most physical comedy on, on network television right now. What would that look like? How would that go? <laughs> It's 
amazing how many how many stunts we get to do. I like to do them um, as, as often as, as they'll let me. Sally ho! We have a crew of actors that are super athletic and they like to do their own stunts, but at the same time you're, you know, right. on pins and needles. Make sure they come out okay and uh, you have a job the next right. day. Got <laughs> great take. I usually do most of my falls onto pads and stuff. When there's nowhere to hide a pad, a lot of times it'll be the stuntman. More times than not, we're able to show them how to do it safely, but there's some crazy things that they write for this show. Pretty action-oriented. Hold it! I had this stunt where I had to, like, trip over some pills and knock over a cart and fall backwards and cornflakes fall all over me. <laughs> Everybody loves doing them. I mean, Zach does most of his own falls. Zach takes a lot of pride in the fact that he is hit in the head more and set on fire more than just about every TV slash movie star that you know that's that's come before him. And we're not going to stop doing it until he makes his stuff. Uh, we kicked Ken out of the car, and Kelso. we and we, yeah, Kelso, and he does this perfect. We did a Texas switch, we call it. Uh, <laughs> They did it so perfectly, uh, and so I just, of course, take credit for it. That's a cool thing that we do here a lot in the Cowboy Switch, where I'll disappear, and then the stuntman will, will do something crazy, and then I'll pop up. First one, and it's fantastic, it's in the third episode. Zach is running down the hall in one continuous shot. He goes behind a cart. Uh, a stuntman comes out the other side and falls. He's back to the camera, does a face plant, and then Zach pops up, shakes it off, and then continues running and you have to watch very closely to be able to tell. Dude, you're gonna love this. One that we did not do was um, bungee jumping off the bridge. One, two, three! Ah! <laughs> this is good for the DVD, you ready? The ladder, are you? This guy and this beautiful lady, they met doing the bungee cord stuff. <laughs> With two people face to face, right. yeah. and they'd never met each other, and he introduced them to him, and they both got married. <laughs> yeah, they, it's one of the nice stories. We put so much into one episode, and then they just go by like that. They air like once, and then they're gone. So this is kind of cool that you're doing this, so people will be able to watch them over and over again.